Good morning, Lobos, and welcome to In the News. Today is Wednesday, January 29th, and it is a blue day. We have a few announcements to help you get through the day. The weather is not currently working at the moment, so technical difficulties. Oh, why'd y'all say that? It, it, the, what? Oh, the weather is working. Today, the weather is 48 degrees Fahrenheit, and tomorrow will be 48 to 59 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm good. And as Lobos... Something I forgot to Mr. Grote did it set up the picture. We will lead by example, encourage positive it. relationships, achieve our full potential, it's and develop cold. habits and skills. It's cold. Lobos lead the pack. Oh. Oh. It was oh. about to show up. Oh well, it's Mr. gonna take forever and I was already finished with this so. Mr. Grote has a lot of pressure. Wait, 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 what are you doing? I'm looking for the birthday thing. Mr. Grote did it. It's over here. It's over here. Yeah. Yeah. Sit down, Sergio. We yeah, can one see. We have one birthday to celebrate today. It is Jaslyn, who's turning 12. Happy birthday, birthday to you. <coughs> Here are a few announcements from around campus. DZ students, book fair starts next week, and here's a look at one of the books you can purchase. Um, we're going to look at two books that we y'all can purchase at the book fair next week. Because um, we forgot to show the first, the first, the one, the one we we're supposed to show yesterday. So, a favorite I survived book is now a thrilling graphic novel. Ten-year-old George is on an exciting adventure, traveling across the ocean on the most majestic <laughs> ship in the world, the Titanic. <laughs> George loves exploring every inch of the ship with his sister Phoebe. But when he sneaks out one night without her, a huge crash shakes the entire boat. The Titanic has struck an iceberg and freezing cold water is everywhere. Suddenly, George is fighting for his life, trapped below decks on a doomed ship. Can George guide his family and friends to safety and escape the ship before it sinks? Find out in I Survived the Sinking of the Titanic, 1912. Look for it at your Scholastic Book Fair. Wow. I'm, 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 I'm probably going to purchase it. What the? What the? Pause it. Oh, he's going to exit out of that one. Okay, now this is the other one that we were supposed to show yesterday, so here we go. Hitler. Oh, that's, if you guys are in fifth grade, you're going to start learning about that very soon. My name is Max Hoffman. I'm just a typical German kid. I play soccer and I fight with my big sister. I take shelter during the air raids. I pray an English bomb doesn't hit our house. I never dreamed that I'd be a part of the Nazi resistance, writing secret codes to help keep German Jews safe. I never dreamed that I'd be a part of the plot to kill Adolf Hitler himself. Look for the plot to kill Hitler at your Scholastic Book Fair. That, that is actually a really good book. I think I... No! No, stop. <laughs> stop it. Okay, exit out. Exit out. Please. Okay. Now we have a special SEO announcement from Miss Gabbert. 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 Oh, you're so silly. Hello, Lobos, and happy SEO Wednesday. So today you will be practicing how to slow breathe in your homeroom class. And I know that might be a little uncomfortable or maybe even silly, but research shows that taking in slow, deep breaths is an effective way to help you calm down and it helps get your brain oxygen so you can actually make rational decisions. So it's not something made up, it's scientific. <laughs> And your brain needs those signals that come from the oxygen when you're breathing in. So, as you're going through your day today, if you feel like you're about to freak out or you need to calm down, take some deep breaths like you're smelling a cheese pizza, like, oh, no. 
<sighs> and then calm down and you'll be good to go. So I will see y'all on Friday. And I think Ms. Miller is taking over for me tomorrow. But y'all have a great SEL Wednesday and a great rest of the day. Thank you, Ms. Gabbard. Remember, give a shout out. Give her a high five to Ms. Gabbard for being on the news. And remember to, to breathe. And now it's time, time for the cheesy joke, joke of the day, day brought to you by Gilberto. 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 I'm going to say it. Why did the tree go to jail? I don't know. Why did he go to jail? A treason? A oh, treason. Treason. Because you know how how people like they go to their treason or something. Yeah. So Prison. This has been in the news. En las noticias. Have a wonderful Wednesday, Lobos. Bye. Bye.